Oh, hello, I'm trying to get through to Winner's Chapel. Am I th sorry, oh. I had problems with my phone. Um, okay. Yeah. What's what the problem? Um, yes, um, I'm trying to I'm, I'm trying to find out uh, what the church believes about the atonement of Christ. And I was. You don't need to. You, you can Why? Why are you? Why are you looking for that information? Um, well, I, I was puzzled because I was told um, that Jesus kind of made two atonements: a physical atonement and then a spiritual atonement. Now, I, I could be getting the wrong end. No, no. What, what do you What do you believe? Go to. You don't have to be looking for what other people believe. Go with whatever you believe. That what you should do. The whatever another person believes should it be your business. Correct. I'm sorry. Could you slow down a bit? Sorry, sir. I'm... I said, you, why not go with what you believe? So if you are trying to find out what the church believes, it's not necessary. This is a prayer line. You can't be finding out what the church believes. I do. Do come to Winners Chapel. I don't. I don't live um, near your Winners Chapel in Dartford, sir. So, uh, but I'm trying to find... find out what the church believes about uh, atonement. That's not, yeah, uh, I mean. Uh, I mean, if you speak, to, if you see a Jehovah's Witness or a Mormon and they go up to you, do you say, just go away from me and believe what you want to believe? We're from Winners' no, Chapel no, no, and no, we don't no, discuss no, the no, Bible. You're not a church member, you're calling to find out what the church believes. It doesn't make sense to me. And tell what I'm saying, you should go with your belief. You get what I mean? You don't you have your Bible, go and study your Bible. If you go and read your Bible, the Bible should tell you that. So if you're not going to want to know what the church believes in. Sorry, can you, slow, can you slow down, sir? Can you slow down? I can't hear what you're saying. Could you say that and again? I said that if, if you're just calling to find out what the church believes, I don't think that is a question I should have been asking. Well, it's not necessary to be would asking Would you be that. willing so to pray for I'm me? What I'm saying is that you should, go and, you should go and read your Bible and yes, believe sir. what you want to believe. Yes, sir. That's the right thing to do. Well, I thought that the rescue line, Dartford, you're the head office, I thought the rescue line would be able to help for me. Would you be willing to no, pray that, for that me? No, that's the rescue line. You, are not, you, are not ask, you, are not, you don't have any problem that you need a rescue of. You are just trying to find out what the child believes on something that yes. is unnecessary. So what I'm saying, this is a rescue number you are calling. So would you, you be willing to pray for me? Would you be willing to pray for me, sir? And please slow down because I'm finding it hard to, to follow you. Would you be willing to pray for me? If you have any prayer for me, we can pray together. Right. Um, I want to, I want to uh, come to an understanding of Jesus' death and the importance of Jesus' death for me. Um, hey, Jesus died for, your, for the atonement of sin. You get what I mean? He did not die for your sin. He died for everybody's sin. That's what he did. He died for. So if you believe he died for your sins, then your sins will be forgiven you if you confess your sins. When, when when did he die for our sins? Did he die once or did he die twice? Cause we are supposed to be praying. You are asking me a question. How many times did Jesus die? So if, if, yeah. Mr. Robert. Yes. And please, if you want us to pray, then we'll pray together. So I know this is not a question in line. And uh, this is uh, trying to be debating doctrine. That's what you are trying to do. We don't debate doctrines. Well, so you can a, believe what you want to believe. It, we don't it's debate not a, doctrines. Sir, it's not a case of debating doctrine. It's a case that I was told that Jesus had to get the keys from hell. He's hung up. He, <laughs> he hung up. Jesus had to go to hell and get the keys from hell. Well, that's the rescue line. If you go to the Winners Chapel website, the head office for um, Europe in Dartford, and you go to the contact section, you'll find two rescue line numbers. And this is the first rescue line. My goodness me.